Hey everybody, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you are in this world. I'm just coming on to do a quick follow-up video to yesterday's video about the bleed pattern. If you didn't watch it, I would uh, uh, highly recommend that you watch that video first and then you can come back and watch uh, today's video, which would be part two. Um, the pattern was, uh, I call it the bleed pattern because the stock basically um, bleeds into the declining 20. First, you have a stock that's maybe in a downtrend, right? Uh, rallies, puts in a sell setup, and then bleeds sideways into a declining 20 and then breaks down, right? And let me clean up the chart. So that's the pattern. Um, so one more time, just real quick, you have a stock that's downtrending, rallies, pass on the first entry for one reason or another. Maybe the stock is too extended away from the 20 MA. Maybe you're not too sure about it here. Maybe it's not the right market timing. But if you pass on it and the stock comes in and then bases at the bottom here into the declining 20, it should lead to a breakdown. Okay? So wanted to show you uh, a trade, a couple of trades. First is the Q quad, Q-U-A-D. What is that? I mean, that's exactly a bleed pattern. First sell setup, that's not a good sell setup. Why? Because the angle of, uh, of the retracement is, that's not 45 degree, that's more like 33 degree. We like 45 degree uh, retracements. So that was, that could have easily failed, but look what the stock did. Look at this. Look how tight the base is. And trigger short. Now, the unfortunate part was uh, this was on an uptick, so I didn't really get filled there, but I chased it a little bit and got in it later. It didn't drop a whole lot. We also ran out of time. Uh, well, it dropped about 45 cents basically and uh, so that, that was the, uh, the 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 trade quad um, then another one was LKSD or LKS LKSD now this is not as good as the other one but it's the same idea stock drops in this case pops comes back down and bases it was extended so that's the only that was the only issue with it, but worked beautifully. I think maybe Triple D did the same thing. No, Triple D didn't. Um, what else? GV, which I called also as a trade uh, in the room, but we ran out of time. Uh, same exact idea. Sell setup, base breakdown, right? But we ran out of day, so it didn't didn't go. Uh, what else? Uh, there were other bases, you can say, that bled sideways into the moving average that worked. It's not the same exact pattern, but the same idea. Stock tries to go higher, gets slammed. Tries to go higher, gets slammed. Right? And then finally breaks down. C uh, A, B, H, C, A, H. Uh, I didn't do these, but I have my chart open, so I'm looking looking at my charts here. Um so similar idea, pops, drops, and goes sideways. Again, the formula is simple. Downtrending stock. Now, of course, you have to know which stock, right? You have to, to be able to analyze the gap. This is called a gap. See the hole on the chart? That's a gap. So you have to be able to analyze the gap. I'm actually going to be teaching uh, advanced gap strategies this weekend on Sunday. This is going to be... Uh, the first time this year that I will be teaching the class live. So if you're interested and you want to really learn about gaps, and it's what I do every day, uh, that, that would be the class to take this Sunday. So just contact a T3, a customer service. Honestly, my favorite trade today was the LPI, but um, unfortunately, I didn't get filled. I got filled 250 or 350 shares. Um, Funny, Ifan and I, Ifan is my co-moderator in the room, called the same exact trade. I didn't see his post. He didn't see my post. Um, 
and here it is. This is the, the battle bar, right? I did a video on this bar, the battle bar. And then a base, and then a breakdown. Look at the gap. Everybody that bought it in the last two, three weeks today was underwater, so trapped. So short, but uh, uh, the darn uptick just didn't get filled. And uh, otherwise would have been beautiful. You know, I made also a mistake, a huge mistake. I just wish I had continued to track it because there was another entry there that would have made a lot of money if I had um, gotten in it. Uh, this entry here on the last base breakdown, I guess the stock didn't drop much. Well, it did, but not, not much. But this one was pretty good, short. I, at that point, I had already moved on. I don't know to what, uh, something else though. I, I did a lot of trading today. I didn't have a single big trade as I often do, but overall, uh, let me see, overall pretty nice day actually, uh, 9K today, so that's really nice. But look, I mean, just a bunch of trades, uh, nothing huge. Um, the biggest was, well, these two, I guess, but then here's the LK, uh, <coughs> excuse me, LKSD, here's the quad. You know, if it weren't for the uptick, I, I would have probably ended up with every day. I would double what I make if if it weren't for the uptick. Um, so those were the trades. A lot of trades didn't have one big huge winner, but at the end of the day, that's nine k still. That's pretty nice. Uh, again, a couple of nice trades were the LKSD, which both were uh, the bleed pattern, and then it goes sideways. But uh, more so was the quad. That's exactly what the bleed pattern is. And that's what I just wanted to come on the mic, uh, show you that this pattern that I, that I shared with you yesterday is out there. You just need to have the right list of stocks and then be on the lookout for it. All right? Okay, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Have a good night.